Welcome back to Pillow Talk. Thank you for sticking around during the break. My name is Kevin Fear. I'm the president of Mattress Express, a chain of luxury bedding stores. We have stores in central New York, northern New York, the Utica Mohawk Valley area, and a store coming near you soon if you are in a market such as maybe Binghamton, Ithaca, the southern tier where you don't hear we have you hear us, but we don't have stores yet. We will. And many of your friends and neighbors are making a short drive in to our central New York locations and shopping with us because we have very innovative offerings. We carry several number beds by instant comfort and personal comfort. We carry purple, posh and lavish, eclipse, therapeutic, Chitman and Eastman, on and on. And we're adding many exciting brands in 2023. You can go to mattressexpressny.com. You can call 1 800 new beds. We're bringing back a guest we've had before. His name is Dave Paul. He's an independent rep in the betting industry. He's been in the betting industry for many, many years. He's responsible for getting me into this industry. If you're sick of my commercials, you can blame him. Today, we're just going to, in this segment, I want to just talk about shopping for a mattress in today's world. We had a phenomenon hit in, I don't know, maybe around 2015, 2016, where all of a sudden, all these brands came to the internet. And they offer these fabulous return policies. And they told you that theirs was the greatest bet in the world for $9.99. And many people ordered them and many people sent them back. And uh, some have succeeded, some have not. Some companies have never made a profit on the internet. Um, some have, some have uh, uh, excelled. Uh, we carry purple. Purple is one of the big brands now, and we have it in our stores, and they make a great bet, and they started on the internet. But I always said, Dave, from the beginning, and this was just my opinion, that the online model doesn't work. Uh, and, of course, I say that because I'm a retailer, right? But um, when you're offering a bed to somebody that they can't try with 100 nights to send it back, how does that work? And I think what a lot of these online retailers found out was it doesn't work because – they get a lot of them back because there's no risk to the customer. They just order it. They don't like it. They send it back. Um, well, and people, let's, you're, look at another, let's look at another industry, Kevin, that's, that has just tried it. And um, the company who launched it all has been failing miserably. And that's Carvana. Yeah. All right. They started with the, you know, dispensary cars and go buy the car. Just call, just so you like it, order it. We'll ship it to you. You pay us. We we ride away. However, they I'm, not, the I'm not familiar with that how that works. There's been so much upheaval in the auto industry right. over the last right. few well, years. I don't know how anybody get, survived. Not one out of every three cars get returned. Okay, really? I, and that's I, I not what happened to the internet. So that's what happened wow. with internet betting sales. Wow. Well, in betting, there's companies that have succeeded. There's companies that have failed on the internet. Uh, they are certainly not the force they were five years ago. I am finding as a retailer that many, if not most of the online retailers are looking to get into retailer showrooms because they have realized that you need to try a bed before you buy it. I mean, anybody that comes into my store rarely buys the first bed that they try. And when you're right. ordering something online just because they have a great promotional video and it doesn't meet your expectations when it gets to your house, it goes back. So how do you shop for a mattress in today's world? That is the big question. Uh, I'm going to tell you, you should go to a quality mattress shop. Um, you should go to uh, uh, a shop that is reputable, that's been around, that carries uh, quality names. And a quality name does not mean it's a name that you recognize. And we've talked about this in previous segments. If I asked the average person on the street to name five betting brands, they would probably struggle to name five. Yet there's over 300 mattress manufacturers in the country because there's just a few that spend the money to advertise and promote. That doesn't mean they're not quality. One of the brands that I carry uh, for example, just uh, that Dave Paul represents is uh, Chittenman and Eastman. How long have they been around, Dave? Uh, mid 1800s. Yeah. Okay. So here's a company that's been around for nearly 150 years. Yes. Uh, they are a very, very high quality bed. Many of their beds use lace and silk and and natural wool. Oh, they tufted it and, and they carry tufted. Most materials well, inside of them. You know, we throw these terms around because we're in the industry. Hand tufting. 
the way a bed is held together, many of the new beds, it's glues. And I'm not telling you the Chipman Eastman doesn't use some glues, but the way it used to be done and the way your many of your very high quality beds are done is they're hand tufted. And what they do is they take what looks like an ice pick. It's a giant needle. And they go down through the top of the bed and they pull through a very strong piece of string and it's got like a button on each side. And you'll have several of those in a very neat pattern on the mattress. And that's what holds the mattress together instead of glue. It's a very high quality way of building a mattress. Right, Dave? It is the highest quality. All your best yeah. bedding in the world are mostly laced, hand tufted. It is um, labor intensive, still done the old way. No real quick way to do it. Um, and uh, it definitely, as Kevin said, not only holds the mattress together, um, but it compresses down things so it eliminates any kind of foam compressions. It's already done to the bed before it's before it ever lit, uh, lands on the mattress. Typically, a hand tufted bed is bench built. And what does that mean? Bench built, in my experience, has been there's only been a few people in the factory that are qualified and able to bench build a mattress. The one person builds it from beginning to end. It's not an assembly line built mattress. It's built on a bench. And uh, and there's one person that builds that whole mattress. It's a craftsman that builds it. You get what you pay for when you buy a mattress, typically. Is that accurate, Dave? Uh, on the bench built mattresses, you're correct. It's one craftsman who basically at the end has a card that he signs his name to. It's the, the day he built it. You know, that he assigns it's up to the quality level of, of craftsmanship that he works at. And um, you know, that that totally different from the rest of mattress production. Right. This other one looks like a car assembly line. Okay. Yeah. Matches move through station to station. Just Henry like Ford would be yeah. proud. Yes, Henry Ford would That's be That's not Henry necessarily Ford. a bad thing either. There's high quality mattresses that are built on an assembly line. I tell you all these different ways that mattresses are built and what's in them. So you're educated when you go shop for your next mattress. If you see a hand tufted mattress, that's typically a very high quality mattress. They're not going to spend all that time bench building the mattress and put cheap products in it. No. And it's quality. It will last. And again, you get what you pay for. I'm not telling you have to spend a million dollars when you go buy your next mattress, but if you're going to buy solely on price, you're going to get what you pay for. It's just the reality. Things are expensive and they're going to use lower grade materials and cheaper ways to do things than less expensive mattresses. Rule 101 of radio shows is silence your phone, dude. <laughs> this is Kevin Fear. This is Pillow Talk. I've got Dave Paul. That's his phone ringing during, during our show here, but that's okay. That's the beauty of radio. We're talking about shopping for a mattress. You can certainly shop online. Many of your bigger online brands have the beds in showrooms. You can come to Mattress Express. You can try Purple. You can try Puffy. There's 11 different mattresses between Purple and Puffy. And we'll give you the exact same prices online. So that's one way to shop. But you also get to compare it against everything else that's in the showroom. Uh, Dave, we got, we're down to about a minute and a half. But what other, what, what other advice do you have for people when they're shopping for a mattress? Take your time. Yes. Take your time. Yes. Uh, they say you can lay I, on the bed for 15 minutes before you buy it. I would tell people to take even longer if need be. Okay? It's a, a very important decision. You've brought this up many times, Kevin. You spend a third of your life in this bed. It's more time you spend on a couch, more time you spend on a car. So if you're going to spend so much time on it, make sure that it meets all your expectations, the support level, the comfort level, okay? Uh, and th don't disregard some of the other things, too. Um, I always tell people, make sure you have a good pillow under your head when you're testing a bed. Oh, yes. Okay. And bring bring your sleeping partner with you, please. Yes. They say they don't care. They do care. Dave, thanks for joining us today. This is Pillow Talk. My name is Kevin Fear. Uh, I own Mattress Express. I'm the president and CEO. And next time you need a bed, all I ask is you give us a try. Come on in. See what we have to offer. You can go to mattressexpressny.com. You can shop online. You can shop in our stores. I suggest you shop in the stores. You can call 1-800-NEW-BEDS, and you can email me at pillowtalkquestion at gmail.com. We'll be back at it next week, folks. Look for us next week. Thank you for joining us.